Hey retro gamers, today I'm showing you how to set up PCSX2, the best PlayStation 2 emulator that lets you relive those glorious gaming moments. Whether you're revisiting God of War 2, Tekken 5, or Grand Theft Auto 3, I've got you covered. We're focusing on setting it up on a Windows PC, so let's get started. First, we'll download the PCSX2 emulator. For more informative videos, please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button. Open a browser on your PC or laptop, then type in the URL bar pcsx2.net. I'll leave the link in the description. This is the official website of PCSX2. Click on the download button. On the download page, you'll see two variant PCSX2 emulators. Stable, which is stable, and Nighty Release is the latest update but has some bugs or other issues. So I prefer to use the stable version. If you click on the latest update, you can see PCSX2 is available for Windows, Linux, as well as Mac OS. If you click on Show Previous Version, it will show previous updates. Download the emulator for your operating system. You can try Installer for direct installation. I'm installing it on a Windows machine. I'll click on the first option labeled Download. This portable version, it keeps all required files and folders in one location. Once the download finishes, we need to extract the file since it's in a zip format. If you don't have an extractor, you can download 7-Zip, a reliable free zip extractor. Check the description for the link. Right-click on the zip file, go to 7-Zip, and select Extract Here. Once it's extracted, you'll get a folder with all your files, and you can delete the zip file. Before starting, I want to mention that we'll need three things. PCSX2 emulator, which we already downloaded, PlayStation 2 BIOS, and PS2 games you legally own. To make things even easier, I created a separate folder and stored the essential files. Now open the extracted folder. You'll see several files, but we need just one named PCSX2QT. Double-click on it. It will start with a welcome note and disclaimers. Here, select your language and theme. There you'll find lots of beautiful themes, but I prefer the gray one. Leave Enable Automatic Updates checked. Now we need to grant PCSX2 access to the BIOS files you added earlier. Just click Browse, navigate to your BIOS folder and select it. Then click on Next button and it will ask you, are you sure you wish to continue? Just click on Yes button. Next up, your game directory. This is where you'll store your PS2 ROMs or games that you own legally. Supported game types include ISO, BIN-Q, and CHD. DuckStation offers excellent compatibility for over 90% of PS1 games. I have a few of my own PlayStation 2 games, and I stored them in a folder. So I am going to add this folder. DuckStation will scan it and load your games. Let's connect a controller now. You can use up to two controllers. If you don't have any controller, no need to worry. You can use your keyboard. If you have a controller, click Automatic Mapping, then select your controller, and you're ready to go. We are almost ready to play, but before that, we will tweak the graphics settings to enhance graphics and FPS. Go to Settings, then Interface, and enable Full Screen Mode if you want to play in full screen. Let's go to the Graphics tab. The very first option is Renderer. Here, you will get all the popular APIs. I prefer to use Vulkan because it gives me the best performance. Make sure your graphics card is selected in the adapter option. Under the display settings set widescreen 16 to 9 as aspect ratio and enable apply widescreen patches. Under the rendering settings. For internal resolution, you can go up to 12x which is impressive. This is the option that makes the biggest difference between the original PS2 and PCSX2. For higher resolutions, you will need a powerful machine. Set the internal resolution to 3x for 720p or 5x for 1080p, depending on your PC's power. If want more accurate sheared, then you can set maximum as blending accuracy. Feel free to enable FPS counters and other options for more details on your gameplay performance. If you want to customize controls, go to Settings then Controls. There, you can select your controller, or if you're using a keyboard, set your desired keys. Want your game library to look even better? Try Grid Mode. To change the cover of a game, right-click the cover art and select Save Image. Your game now has a custom cover. I like to use List Mode because it shows details. And that's it. RPCS3 is all set up, and you're ready to relive the classics in HD. From Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas to Final Fantasy X, these games have never looked or played better. 
At the sidebar, you got some option like resume games. Toggle first forward, load states, save state game properties, save screenshots, etc. If this guide helped, drop a like and subscribe for more gaming tutorials. Let me know in the comments what PS2 games you're most excited to revisit. Happy gaming, and until next time.